Sure, there are a number of studies that are presently underway, which are uh, directly assessing the potential impact of either medications or supplements, antioxidants and other things uh, in progressive MS patients. Uh, unfortunately, one recently reported study not yet published is the uh, biotin study, uh, high dose biotin in progressive MS. A preliminary study suggested that it may be beneficial. In fact, even improve function in a small but significant minority of patients with MS. Unfortunately, a larger uh, uh, trial did not confirm that. Um, uh, but there are other studies as well. Uh, there's studies with alpha lipoic acid. There's uh, studies with simvastatin, one of the cholesterol agents. Uh, uh, there are studies with, there have been studies with ibutilast, a medication used to treat asthma in Japan. It's not clear if there'll be f further studies with that. There's also a population uh, or a, a type of, of uh, agent uh, called BTK inhibitors, uh, Bruton's tyrosine kinase inhibitors, um, that have the potential, especially as small molecules to not only enter the nervous system, but to not only act in an anti-inflammatory component, uh, similar to that which we see with some of the B-cell therapies, such as ocrelizumab, rituximab, or now opatumumab, um, but also may have potential effects uh, separate from that that have, would have potential benefit for individuals with progressive MS. So maybe sort of dual actions uh, that would be uh, potentially beneficial. And there are a number of others as well. So um, I'm, I'm excited uh, for those because I think there are a number of things that are relatively uh, uh, close um, that potentially could be beneficial. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, uh, we're about to begin um, uh, shortly, as soon as everybody can get back to doing all their regular rounds of clinical research, um, a study at the other end of the spectrum for people with very aggressive um, uh, and highly inflammatory disease with relapses and scan changes in spite of uh, uh, usual therapy, and that's the BDMS trial, the best available therapy trial, which will look at high dose uh, uh, immunotherapy with cytoxan and others to ablate the immune system, followed by uh, autologous hematopoietic stem cell transplant. Um, uh, with the hopes of rebooting the immune system, if you will, for people who are primarily younger with highly aggressive disease. This is a relatively smaller population overall, uh, but for these individuals, MS is uh, not just an irritation, it's, it's devastating uh, and, uh, and very young people. Um, and so the hope is that this will uh, uh, give us information as to the utility of this approach in comparison to best available therapy, which is the uh, highly effective monoclonal antibody therapies, which will be uh, the control group uh, for this outcome. So I'm excited by that because I think it'll, uh, it'll be the greatest uh, test to date, if you will, of the concept of uh, rebooting the immune system and using highly effective therapy as, as soon as it is um, uh, noted that people have aggressive disease and using um, uh, the two primary approaches. One would be um, a sort of uh, this almost chemotherapeutic approach um, followed by stem cell rescue compared to uh, best available medical therapy that we have now. And I think for that small subset of patients, uh, that will be uh, an incredibly important uh, uh, study. So that excites me as well. And there are a number of other things that are uh, really incredibly important. Uh, I'm interested to see, I have not seen the data and I'm not sure if it'll be at the meeting this year, uh, data looking at uh, neuroprogenitor cells uh, infused into the uh, spinal fluid. Uh, and there's a very small study looking at that uh, that's underway. I again, I don't know if it's gonna be reported here, uh, looking at whether or not um, uh, the proof of principle that it, the cells can actually uh, be taken up and actually have a physiologic function uh, if that is the case, the potential uh, of neuroprogenitor cells infused directly into the spinal fluid, which has the potential of repair uh, either directly uh, or more likely indirectly by stimulating repair uh, from cells already present inside the central nervous system. Uh, there's a proof of principle, very small study 
to show that these cells can survive if infused uh, and that they would potentially have a physiological effect um, that is measurable. If that is true, um, then uh, the potential is there that a larger study could be done to show that they are efficacious um, and would offer the potential, uh, again, potentially for progressive patients, uh, for repair, uh, where individuals perhaps would have some fixed deficit or even worsening deficit that might be benefited in a positive sense by improvement. So I'm excited by that kind of approach because I think it's novel. Uh, when I